What's up, guys? It is Wednesday, June 14th. It's 8.38 a.m. And this is the crypto market update. So we're going to start off with the dollar. And today we're rolling over. So we're at 102.982. We broke that 103 level. And right now it does seem that we're rolling over here. So let me hide the, the Fib forecast real quick. Let's look at the 12-hour chart. We're looking at the momentum right now, and it is shifted to the downside as expected. So we have the TSI below the zero line. We have the MACD flipped red. We have us breaking the super guppy, just like we did on, on our last kind of relief rally with the dollar up here. As soon as we broke it, you know, that was a, the start of our downtrend. And that's what we've been saying. March 13th, three months later, June 13th. And we're, we're doing the same things right now. So we could have either already dipped here. Uh, we could have already dipped. And this could just be the overall, like, we're, we're going to start just heading down. Or this could be a dip, pull back up, and then ultimately going down. So we'll have to see how that rolls. But at the end of the day, we have started the beginning of the dollar downtrend and the continuation of that. And the further kind of uptrend in cryptos and the bounce that should come in here uh, pretty soon. So we're seeing a breakdown in the 12 hour chart. We go to the one day chart. We're seeing on the one day chart as well, too. We're, we're rolling right over and we're coming down probably to test this 50 moving average here, just like we did back here after breaking the gray super guppy. So it does look like we're coming down to here around 102.59. And at that point, if we can break it, then we're just going to keep going down with the dollar. But if we find some support there, we'll likely have that bounce scenario and then a rejection coming down and then ultimately come back down, retest these lows over here. So that's what I'm seeing for the dollar. If we go to the TSI on the daily, we're seeing the TSI really start to nose that right now. So that's more kind of validation as far as the downtrend the dollar has started. So if we go to the NASDAQ, US NAS 100, we're at 14,922. And we're at the top of the hot zone right now, but it does look like we're getting a little bit of a rejection at the moment. We can see that we popped up above it. We have a wick. Candles are getting uh, smaller here. We're starting to see the MACD go from dark green to light, light green. So it does look like we may have a correction today for the US NAS 100. Come down maybe 14,671. But at that point, I'd want to see it hold us support and then us come back up to rally to break above 15,000. Um, but as long as we maintain in the short term above 14,900, we could give another whack up here. But from what I'm seeing on the nine hour chart, we could roll over. We go to the six hour chart. Yeah, we're, we're already starting to see the beginning of it, of the momentum curling over. So that's what I'm seeing for the do, uh, for the US NASDAQ 100 at this moment. Uh, a little correction there. And then if we go to the NASDAQ versus Bitcoin, this kind of goes hand in hand with what I'm saying here as far as a correction in the stock market, Bitcoin, a rally. And then with this chart, we want to see this go down because this is the NASDAQ 100 versus Bitcoin. If this chart's going down, that means Bitcoin's outperforming the NASDAQ 100. So what I could see is a correction in the rally in Bitcoin, and then this chart will pull down right at the key hot zone of uh, the Fib forecaster where we found a rejection here in February, a rejection here in March, and now and then a rejection here in early June, and now being in the middle of June, we're seeing so far a rejection at this point. So this is good news as far as that goes. That's more kind of validation and a different look as far as a thesis here that Bitcoin's going to bounce, stock market rolling over, dollar rolling over. Yeah, so that's what I see for that. If we go to the total crypto market cap, you can see that what I believe is we're at this phase here. If we take this measurement and we take from this top to this bottom here, it was around like 20% of a drawdown from the overall high of this move to the low of this move of this kind of structure here. Then if we take that equivalent of this structure from this high down to this low of where we went to, it was around 20%. So we had the same similar drawdown of 20% from high to low. And right now, what I believe is we're, we're at a bottoming kind of phase right now and we're starting to curl up. And what we'll do is we'll have a pretty rapid spike, probably to test this 200 moving average here, which would be coinciding with some support levels or previous support now resistance, which resistance back here resistance support 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 resistance probably give one more shot up there and we'd want to get above that level and hold as support to then continue the rally up 
That would get us above the 200 moving average. It would flip the super guppy from red to green. We'd reclaim a key level as well too. So that's what we want to see out of the total crypto market cap. If we go to the 12 hour chart, let's look at the momentum. Cause right now we are starting to see the, the TSI close across and up just like back here, how it came down May 13th, April 24th. When we come down and then we cross up in the TSI, usually that signifies a local bottom at the very least. So us being at that point right now, TSI getting close across and then MACD about to flip to green and then us being at the same similar levels where we found local bottoms with the RSI, then as well as the stock RSI is coming up to that 50 line. We need to get above the 50 line with the stock RSI so we can have the momentum to have this be a bottom right here. So we'll know within the next 12 hours as far as if we had enough momentum to push us out of this structure right now because we're not the, the woods yet. I want to see a pop up because we have this trend line coming down like this, which we're running into as we speak. But this trend line coming down like that, as well as we have this trend line coming like this. So we're at one of those moments, just like back here, we had the same thing. And that's what ultimately led to us breaking it and have a capitulation candle down. That's why it's so critical for the next 12 hours that we actually pop up here and get above this trend line. So we don't have a similar situation where we have another last capitulation candle down because even looking at this one right here there was another one so if we were to take that you know draw it over same similar right then if we were to break this right now that would bring us over to the same trend line here so we don't want to see that happen but if that did happen it would probably then be the actual bottom because we have the low here to the high here probably bring us to that 786 on a capitulation flash crash quick buyback and then we get on out of here quickly but it all is dependent on that 12 hour stock rsi cross up above the 50 line the cross up of the tsi and the macd and, and we're close to that moment right now like literally 12 hours so then if we go to the total three so this is the altcoin market caps we're getting a buy tag flash right now or we did a couple days ago on the new indicator so we have this sell up here to the buy tag that just came in so that was literally 110 days down 23 percent for the all the altcoin alt market caps we just flashed the buy signal we're also touching the 786 from this low to this high right here we're literally right at it so what i think is we're going to have a, a pop back up to get back to kind of where we fell off from so that's what i'm seeing there if we look at the momentum on the daily chart we are starting to curl back up with the stock rsi mac dtsi look at the 12 hour chart we're close we crossed up above the 50 line with the momentum here but we got to see that MACD flip green and the TSI officially cross. So in the next 12 hours, we're really going to know if this was the bottom or not. So we're, we're coming up right now. We have this trend line coming up like this as well, too. Now I will delete this. So, yep. So we held that 786 nicely. If we do pull down, I'd only want it to be a tiny bit, maybe 1%, and then have it be a wick and then just immediately buy back up. But yeah, we're at a convergence moment. Even with trend line coming down like that, we're going to know within the next 12 hours here. And we have the FOMC meeting today too, so you already know it's going to be volatile. But there are signs that we could have a nice bounce, but not without some volatility first. So then if we go to Bitcoin, we're at 26,000 right now. We came down to this hot zone. We're holding as support. We got a buy tag signal right back here as well june 5th came back to that zone we've held the bodies above mainly on the 12 hour chart we've seen a lot of wicks over here ton of wicks so a lot of buying coming up from the zone if we take the daily chart we're starting to press up right now we see the stock rsi is crossed up we want to see it get through that 50 line also macd is curling in and tsi is showing some bullish divergence we have a low a higher low then we have a, a low and a lower low so we're seeing some bullish divergence right now we're seeing the same convergence of trend line so and we're at that honeypot zone and we have the 200 day moving average sim right here as well too so what i believe is we're, we're very close to really showing that this is truly the bottom here before um seeing a, a nice big pop up so that's what i see there want to hold that zone we go to xlm so xlm broke down from the 786 over here so we broke down from the 786 and where'd we come to right down to the breakdown of the 786 1618 extension held it as support once, twice. And also if we go to a nine hour chart. Yeah, so that was the level that we broke. So we broke this level for the, the medium, micro and macro 786, 
came right down to the 786 of this new micro move. So from this low to this high, we're at the 786 right now, actually a little bit below it, but um, we touched the 1618 breakdown extension right here as well. So if I go to a six hour chart, so getting back above 0 0.088 is definitely critical. I would love to see again above nine cents to be honest that would be even better get us above the 200 moving average and would get us back above this key zone right here but let's look at the three day chart so we have three day prepare to buy soons last time we had the prepare to buy soons and the buy now came in that was early january so that was like ultimately the bottom here if we take the trend line drag it across we have support 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 so far and then we have this trend line coming down like this acting as support then also let me just hide this not hide that then also we have the trend line coming down like this so yeah ultimately getting back above around nine and a half cents and it's game on it's us back above these key levels right here so where we found where we fell off from resistance 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 got above came back down for support broke down came back up rejection so getting back above there likely we'll start our ascent to 13 and a half but um, yeah where we're at as far as a key level as far as support here three day prepare to buy as soon as we go to the four day chart we have a four day prepare to buy as soon if we go to a five day we already had the five day prepare to buy as soon and buy now back here and let's look at the momentum on the one day chart so the one day chart is still dark red so we want to see that turn to a, a lighter red and we want to see the stock rsi cross up if we go to the 12 hour chart we're getting close to that yep we got the 12 hour prepare to buy as soon as we do not yet have a buy now we're getting close to it but we need to see that stock RSI cross up, MACD and TSI as well too. We're getting hung up at the moment, but ultimately if Bitcoin bounces, the dollar keeps on rolling over here, which it, it still is right now, then, then we can get up from that level. So then let's go to XRP. So XRP just looks like it reclaimed that critical trend line. So we had that trend line started back from the sell-off. We had support. And then during that sell-off over here, if we were to go to a 12-hour chart, we saw the bodies of the candles close above it like that. And then we had another sell off right to it with the wick. Then we sold off, but we had the body of the candle right above. And then we have this candle opened up right now above it. So I really want to see us hold this level. And we came right down to, I think we had mentioned 50 cents as far as a key, that level being so crucial for us to hold that support. We held that support. We got above that hot zone for a hot minute but then ultimately came right back down. So this is where I want to see us hold. We don't want to see that strong pressure and momentum to continue to the downside here. So this is the moment of truth. And we'll be watching the total three. So the altcoin market minus XRP's market cap versus XRP's market cap to know if XRP is going to start to underperform the rest of the market. This will be our key chart to be on top of that. Right now we are seeing a little bounce. We have a one day prepared to buy soon. We are starting to see the momentum kick up. So it does look like, you know, XRP for a little bit might underperform. And that could just be because of market wide altcoin rally kicking back in so that's another reasoning to the the bottom being it as well too so then let's look at xrp usd let's go to the 12 day chart and we're still on track we're st we still have the stock rsi on the 12 day chart crossing up we still have the tsi getting right close to that zero line almost there as far as getting above it last time that happened was back here october we had that shoot up MACD, two double green, dark green candles. Then we have the pink crossing up heavy above the, the blue showing bullish momentum and the RS, RSI is above the 50 line. So we still are on track and we're holding this trend line here. So if I were to, now we see it from a bigger picture view. We have the trend line we're holding here like that. We have support, support, support for the past 36 days. And we're at this moment where we're getting rejected by this 50 moving average here. So we're seeing a we saw rejection here, a rejection here, a rejection so far, but that line sitting at around like 51, 52. So getting a candle body close above this, so 52 cents in the next three days and 12 hours will likely let us know ahead of time that XRP will get above and start going to these extension targets. So we'll use that as something that we're looking at. Yeah, so that's what I'm seeing there. And if we look at the 10 day chart, so we already already had that buy tag, just like that buy tag right before there as well too. If we go to the five day chart, we did break above this um, 50 moving average here, rejection, 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 broke above, came back up, support right on it. And so we held that, that's good market structure. If you look at the three day chart. Yeah, the three day chart, we have that 200 moving average where we found support on. And when we broke above in the past bear market here, that was our moment. So we had squeeze phase 
And that's what I believe we're in right now, the squeeze phase where we have the yellow coming in like that. We have the white coming in like that. Just like we have that now, we have the white coming in. We have the yellow coming up. So we're entering the squeeze phase. So there's not much time, you know, before XRP has that moment where it makes a move to the upside that's rather rather big. Just like when we had this cross down, the yellow crossing down, white going up, we saw that tank. The opposite will happen here when we have the yellow crossing up through the white, it will shoot. So we're at that moment, a time now. So that's what I'm seeing for XRP. We go to XRP against Bitcoin, we are touching, or got close to hitting the 786 to the retracement level here. And right now we are holding the, the 50 moving average as support. So we wanna see XRP to Bitcoin hold this level because that will give the XRP to USD chart more hope of being able to get back up and break to those extension targets. So XRP against Bitcoin right now is sitting okay. It's sitting fine. But if it breaks this level, we'll pull down and that will likely contribute to XRP or yeah, down 10%. And that would likely mean maybe XRP falls 10% or Bitcoin goes up 10%, XRP stays flat. There's a couple ways that that could pan out. But so far, so good. I do want to see XRP dominance break back above 2.60%. But as far as where we're at right now, we came down to the 786. We held that support so far. So this is where I'd want to see us hold. I don't want to see us break lower than that point. We already tested this level as support once support twice we treat it as a resistance up here if anything if we do come down to this level i'd want it to be the last time we do before ripping back up if we were to break that then it's not the time yet but ever since we've been going up here on the four hour chart so ever since may 16th we've seen the, the super guppy flip green so if we break this level we're going to flip to to gray orange red which is the start of a, a mini downtrend so for like a month so we had a month going down month going up maybe a month going down and the xrp dominant so if that's the case we're going to utilize how xrp has stayed up while the whole rest of the market is dumped down we'll utilize a little xrp to, to catch some outperformers in the meantime, then switch back to XRP when the cycle consists of it. But right now we still got some hope here. We do want to hold where we're at as far as XRP dominance. Then looking at this total three, so all coins against XRP, if this starts to rip up, then it's likely XRP against Bitcoin is going to break down. XRP dominance is going to break down. And XRP USD chart is probably breaking that key 50 cents level. If that's the case, we'll utilize some of that XRP to see if there's any opportunity that we can strike on. So that's going to be it, guys. That's the market update today. It's going to be volatile. We got that FOMC meeting. But yeah, so come join the Discord. Link will be in the bio. And I'll see you guys in the next video.